Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Stuart Lee and today I wanted to show you real quick, probably less than five minutes, on how to create and use a Google Voice number. So that way you can call home, call parents, text parents uh, without giving out your actual number and it does not necessarily have to ring back to your phone. You can check it when you need to. It's all going to be web-based. You can put the app on your device if you want to, but I'm going to show you the web version of this. It's super handy. Plus, you have a record of your contact with parents already done for you. You don't have to keep a separate log of when you call home or when teachers or parents call you or text messages back and forth. All of that is stored in the cloud with your account through Google. So let's get to it. So the first thing we want to do is go to voice.google.com and that is going to pull up the Google Voice web page. Business accounts, meaning if you use your school email address for this, it's going to try and cost money. Um, and your IT administrator probably has it blocked unless you already have it through your school district, in which case this is a moot point uh, for the whole tutorial. But the personal service is totally free still. So grab your Gmail account or go create a new one. Honestly, for this tutorial, I created a new Gmail account because I already had a Google Voice on my personal Gmail. So I had to make a new account so I can show you how to do this. They're free, they're unlimited free, and they're super easy to make. So go do that right now. Um, so. I'm going to choose for personal use and I can choose which of these variety, you know, versions I want to use. I'm showing you on a computer, so we're going to use the web version. So I pick web. It's going to make me continue through some of their privacy policy. And now Google requires you to pick a nearby city. I'm in upstate part of South Carolina. Uh, Pendleton, Clemson, Liberty are near me. Uh, I, I can pick Clemson and then it gives me different numbers in in the Clemson area uh, I can also if I want to pick a number so if I want to spell something out or get cute I can actually type in and 392 for Belton but you, you can see so you know if you had a series of numbers that you wanted to get close to you could look for those numbers so we're just gonna pick one uh, for for simplicity sake for this tutorials purpose. Uh, I like this one, 0310 seems easy to remember, so I'm going to select it. So I'm claiming it. Now, I have to verify it. So this is the part where it takes you using an actual real phone number that you have access to in order to verify that you're a real person, basically, so that robots aren't actually going out and grabbing these. And so I'm going to blank this out because this is my phone number. And I'm going to send the code on my phone. I'm going to receive a code. And I'm going to verify. And it tells me that it's connected with a different Google Voice account. Claiming, it, claiming this number will remove it from the old account. And anything that's forwarded will be canceled. So just know that if you already have one set up and you're setting up another one, if you claim it with your current number, I claimed that. So it bumped my old account off of being forwarded to my current number, but I can go back and change that later. Um, I can always go back and reactivate my actual phone number on my other Google Voice account number. Um, so that's not gonna be that big of a deal. So I'm gonna finish, and it reminds you, you can use it on your apps. So I'm gonna finish also, and then here it is, pulled up. So here's a quick tutorial of what, I mean, that's, and that's it, you're done absolutely done less than five minutes just like I promised now you're rocking and rolling but let's show you how to use it uh, first off what we're gonna do is we have a, a dialing pad here so I'm gonna dial my phone number and see if I can get it to ring to my work phone so we're calling it and I'm, I'm doing all of this from the web so I'm gonna allow my microphone and I'm uh, and, and here we go. So if we can see that, I am calling my phone from my computer without an actual phone. But I can hear myself talking. So I do know that this is working. And I just hung up and it hangs up. So now I can actually go in 
and it gives me the time I called that number. If this number was in my contact list, it would have my name there. Uh, but like I said, I just created this account just for this tutorial. So it keeps a record of all that. Now, I'm gonna show you my actual Google Voice account that I use so you can see all the different pieces of it. So here we are in my actual Google Voice account. And sorry for all the blurry stuff on there. I'm not trying to give away all my friends and family's uh, cell phone numbers and things like that. So there's gonna be some blurred spots, but you get the, the point. Uh, this is actually my call list. Uh, I use this number for certain situations. I don't use it a lot uh, anymore. And so a lot of this is actually spam or wrong numbers uh, that come through. But Google actually, if you look, I got they actually filter out the spam for you so all of this over here in the spam is spam phone calls these are spam phone calls that Google says hey I know that spam it's from a spam number uh, we're gonna go ahead and just kick that over into your spam just like it does for your email so it's actually a really nice service uh, but I can come over here to calls and this is my call record and it's dated and it gives me if it was an outgoing call or an incoming call or a missed call uh, now I can send texts so these are some text messages I have sent and received from my Google Voice so it has the whole transcript and it's time stamped um, and date stamped so I know when I texted what was said who said it back and forth so I can send text messages from this just as easy as I can send an email but it goes to the phone numbers and if you've ever texted a parent you know that you're a thousand times that's an exaggeration more likely to get a text back from a parent that, than you are if you try to call them or email them or things like that. Um, you can also get voicemails on this, and this is what I use my Google voicemail or Google voice number for a lot, is for the voicemail, because if I want just a transcript of the voicemail, you know, this is my dad, hey, it's your dad, give me a call back. So, I mean, it does the, I can actually play this message too. Hey, this is your dad, give me a call back. And it does a pretty good job of transcribing it. It doesn't get it perfect every time, but it gets it pretty close. So you don't actually have to listen to all your voicemails. You can read most of them now um, by going through the Google Voice. So it gives you a lot of functionality for absolutely free. And like I said, you can call home or text home. Texting is the big, huge one um, for, for free. But again, use a personal account because it's free. If you try to use a G Suite account, you're gonna run into a problem. Uh, but that's the short and sweet of how to use Google Voice, how to create Google Voice and use Google Voice to call home, call parents, and text whoever you need to as a teacher without giving out your actual phone number. They receive nothing but the number itself, no email address, no identifying information other than this number is calling and or texting. Thank you for watching the video. If you found it useful, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the little bell that pops up next to it uh, to get notifications of upcoming videos. Uh, if there's anything that I can do, I can create, I can put out there that you think would be helpful, please leave it in the comments below or, or send me a message on social media at Mr. Lee Teaches uh, pretty much on every platform, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um, and I just appreciate everything that you're doing uh, out there as educators. And I know our students do too.